everyone welcome back to pabli in this video we're going to learn how to post user back feedbacks on discord so i am an owner of a business and i've created a feedback form using user back and it is attached on my website user back is an amazing application that helps businesses to collect feedbacks from their customers efficiently so here what i want is that any of my customers are going to fill in the feedback form and going to submit it using user back i want to send that feedback on my discord channel as in my discord account i've created a channel of my developers team in which i want to send them the feedbacks that are done by our customers so that we can work on them so if i'm going to do all of this manually it is going to take me a lot of time so what i did was i simply created an automation using pabli connect which is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no programming and coding skills to create an automation so in this automation what is going to happen that as soon as any of my customers are going to fill in the feedback form and is going to submit the form and we are going to receive the response of the feedback using user back automatically that feedback is going to be forwarded as a message on our discord channel for that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between user back and discord with the help of pabli connect so if you want to learn this amazing automation then let me take you to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to post user back feedback on discord so i'm a photographer and a web designer and i have created a website for my business I have created a form using user back attached to my website with the help of which my customers provides me feedbacks on my new features issues or general suggestions through this form by creating an automation between user back and discord every time a new feedback entry is submitted automatically it has been posted on my discord channel this allows my development team to instantly see through the customers feedback and discuss potential solutions or prioritize features updates this automation not only improves communication but also accelerates my product development cycle ensuring i'm always aligned with customers expectations in this video we're going to discuss this amazing automation between user back and discord and we're going to create this automation with the help of pabli connect so on the screen you can see the website of pabli connect that is pabli.com/connect after browsing this website we need to sign in to our pabli connect account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free task every month so as i'm an existing user i'm going to sign in to my pabli connect account after signing in you can see the all pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of pabli from which we are going to select pabli connect by clicking on access now then you can see pabli connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you in order to start an automation process in pabli connect we need to create a workflow for that click on this button right over here that says create workflow a dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name so i'm going to give a name to my workflow as how to post user back feedback on discord so this is the name that i want to give to my workflow okay next over here it is asking for us to select a folder so on the left side of my screen you can see i've created multiple folders in my pabli connect account from which i'm going to select a specific folder in which i want to save this workflow in for that click on this arrow so these are the folders that i've created in my pabli connect account from which i'm going to select user back automations as the folder i want to save this workflow in after giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of how to post user back feedback on discord and there are two windows in front of you one over here says trigger other says action trigger and action are the two most important steps for automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this that means our action is a response towards our trigger in an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps first let us set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow and for the trigger application we are going to select it as user back i am going to select my trigger application as user back because with the help of user back i have created a feedback form that is attached to my website I have created okay and for the trigger event i'm going to select it as new feedback as my objective is that that whenever any of my customers are going to submit the form that i've created using user back for the feedback automatically public and it should capture the response so as you can see that this is my website and in the website this is the form that i've created with the help of user back that is attached to this website okay so that is why for the trigger event i've selected it as 
new feedback and for the trigger application as user back okay so now to connect user back to public connect you can see public connect has provided us with a webhook url firstly i'm going to copy this url from here this webhook url acts as a bridge between user back and public connect so that whenever a new feedback form submission is going to be done by any of my customers automatically public connect is going to capture the response you have to follow the steps given here below in the help desk in order to connect user back and public connect firstly you need to open the form that you have created with the help of user back i'm going to log into my user back account you can see that i've already logged into my user back account and this is the form that i've created with the help of user back the name of the form is feedback form i'm going to open this form you can see that this is the form that i've created and we are going to connect user back and pably connect for that what you have to do is this is the form that i've created in the name of feedback form as you can see right over here and in the page of this form you can see on the right side of the screen it says integrations we are going to click on this connect button as you can see the integrations page is going to appear which we are going to scroll down as we're going to scroll down it says over here as webhook you can see webhook has been here we're going to click on the settings button as we're going to do that over here it says connect we're going to click on connect okay as we're going to click on connect the webhook setting is going to appear firstly it is asking for the webhook url for the webhook url i'm going to paste the url that public connect has provided us i'm going to paste the webhook url for the webhook events right over here what we're going to do is we're going to select it as new feedback is added because as you want that this webhook should capture the response of the new feedback Feedback being added in our public in it account. So that is why for the webhook event, I've selected it as new feedback is added. Okay, and after that, I'm going to click on complete setup. As we have done that, you can see next to webhook it says active. That means the webhook is successfully added in our form that we have created using user back. Okay, I'm going to open my workflow as over here it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do the dummy submission with the help of the feedback form that we have created with the help of user back, and we're going to check whether public can it capture the response of the feedback being done or not. For that, I'm going to open my website. As you can see that this is my website that I've created, and in the website this is the form. that i've created in the name of feedback form i'm going to open this form as you can see that this is the feedback form that i've created using user back okay we're going to fill in the details it is asking for how will you rate your experience so i'm going to rate my experience out of 5 as 4 okay it is asking for the name of our customer for the name over here i'm going to write it as test demo okay so this is the name of my customer for the email over here i'm going to write it as test demo at the rate pablitudes.com for the comment that is the remark i'm going to write it as good service so this is my feedback right over here i'm going to click on send feedback okay as i've done that it says thank you we really appreciate your feedback as the feedback is now been done i'm going to open my workflow i'm going to scroll down we are going to wait over here for a few seconds After waiting for a few seconds you can see over here a response is received in our workflow that we have created now let us tally this response over here for the name of our customer being test demo for the email as test demo at the rate pablitudes.com for the description as good service for the ratings over here as 4 So this means that we have successfully connected user back to public connect and our trigger setup is done. So now whenever any of the customers are going to fill in the feedback form that we have created using user back, the form submission is going to be captured in our trigger response right over here. So after setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that click on this arrow and as our objective is that that as soon as a new feedback form submission is going to be done by any of our customers using user back, automatically that feedback response should be for Forward it as a message on our Discord channel. This will allow my development team to instantly see my customers' feedback and discuss potential solutions or prioritize features updates. Okay, so that is why we are creating this amazing automation. So as I want to send the message over here automatically, we are going to set up our action step. For the action application, we are going to select it as Discord. Discord is a communication platform that allows people to create and join communities called servers. They can chat via text. For businesses, Discord is very useful because it provides a centralized place for team communication and collaboration. It allows team to create dedicated channels for various projects, departments or topics which helps keep conversation organized and easily accessible, okay? So I'm selecting over here my action application as Discord and for the action event I'm going to select it as send message send channel message markdown i'm going to select my action event as send channel message markdown and then i'm going to click on connect as we go to click on connect you can see firstly it is asking for the webhook url for the webhook url you have to click on this hyperlink right over here 
as we are going to click on the hyperlink you will be forwarded towards this page and in the page you can see it says how to enter webhook url over discord for sending messages if you are going to follow all the steps given here below you can have the access of the webhook url of the channel on which you want to send the messages so i am going to tell you the steps one by one firstly you have to log into your discord account and you have to open the channel that you have created you can see that i have created a channel in the name of customers feedbacks and i want to send the feedbacks on this channel right Right over here to have the access of the webhook url of this channel you have to click on this arrow next to the name of my channel right over here as you can see that after click on it over here it says server settings we're going to click on server settings as we're going to click on server and settings you can see on the left side of our screen there are multiple options under apps it says integrations we're going to select it as we're going to click on integrations the integrations page is going to appear and under this you can see it says webhooks we're going to click on this create webhook button as we're going to do that you can see a webhook is created i'm going to copy this webhook url from here and i'm going to paste this webhook url in my public connect workflow right over here so this webhook url is the url of the channel on which we want to send messages okay so this is the channel that i want to send messages on so i've pasted the webhook url okay next it is asking for the message that we want to send on our discord channel for the message over here i'm going to write it as as you can see that this is the message that i want to send on my discord channel it says new user feedback alert the feedback summary name email rating description and the feedback type as general feedback it says feel free to discuss and take necessary actions based on this feedback let's keep improving so this is the message that i want to send on my discord got channel so that my development team can work on the feedback that has been done by our customer okay for the details of the name email and the rating and the description of the feedback what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as you to click on this field right over here you can see it says user back new feedback this was the previous step of this workflow and as you go to click on this arrow this was the same response that was captured Captured in our previous step. As over here, first it is asking for the name of our customer. So you can see the name of the customer is there on our previous response. I'm going to select this name of our customer. As I selected the data, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over in place of this map data is going to be updated. Similarly, we're going to map the data of the email of our customer. So this is the email. I'm going to map it. For the rating of our customer, I'm going to map the date of the rating description. That is the feedback over here. I'm going to map the date of the feedback that we have received. That is right over here. The description, okay. So as this is the message that I want to send on my Discord channel, this is the message right away, okay. For the bot name, I'm going to give a name of my bot as. customers feedback this is the name of my bot if you want you can give an icon to your bot over here as well i don't want to do that so i'm going to skip the part for the text to speech i'm going to select over here as disable okay after filling all the necessary details i'm going to click on save and send test request as we have clicked on save and send test request over here you can see a response is received and in the response we have received a positive response so now i'm going to open my discord channel and i'm going to check whether a message is forwarded on my discord channel related to the customer's feedback or not for that i'm going to open my discord channel and yes as you can see right over here a new message is forwarded on my discord channel it says new user feedback alert feedback summary name of the person as test demo email Last test demo at the rate publicitudes dot com. Rating out of five as four. Description as good service. Feedback type as general feedback. And the message over here says, feel free to discuss and take necessary actions based on this feedback. Let's keep improving. So this means that we successfully connected user back and Discord with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another feedback form submission using user back, and I'm going to check whether a message is forwarded on my Discord channel or not. For that, I'm going to open my website that I've created. You can see this is my website right over here, and over here you can see this is the feedback form that I've created using user back. So I'm going to open this form from here. As I've done that, you can see that this is the form that I've created, which is asking for all the details for the rating. Over here, I'm going to give it as five. Okay, so this is the detail of the feedback. The rating is out of five. Name as smart test one. Email as smart test one at the rate publicitudes dot com. And for the remark as excellent service. And then I'm going to click on submit feedback right over here. 
as i've done that you can see it says we really appreciate your feedback now as we have submitted the form using user back and the feedback is done i'm going to open my discord channel and i'm going to check whether a message related to this feedback is forwarded on my discord channel or not i'm going to open my discord channel and yes you can see right over here a message related to the feedback that we have done right now is forwarded on our discord channel it says new user feedback alert for the feedback summary it says for the name as smart test one email as smart test one at the rate pablitudes.com rating as five description as excellent service and for the feedback type the general feedback of our customer so this means that we successfully created an automation between user back and discord with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i'm a photographer and a web designer and i used user back form to collect the data of my customers feedback and the form that i've created is attached to my website I want that whenever any of my customers provide feedback on my new feature, usability or general suggestions through the form that I've created automatically by creating the automation between user back and Discord every time a new feedback entry is done by my customers automatically it should be posted on my Discord channel which is going to allow my development team to instantly see through my customers feedback and discuss about the potential solution and prioritize features updates and by creating this amazing automation not not only it improves the communication but also it accelerates my products development ensuring that my customers expectations are always reached so this is how we create this amazing automation between user back and discord with the help of pabli connect so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.